hey everyone welcome back to another video for those of you who are new to my channel my name is Brittany, and today we are doing a wash day routine and a curly hair routine from start to finish so if you're interested in seeing that just keep on watching so here is the before and here is the after so this would be my routine to get bouncy, fluffy, and defined curls. So let's hop right into it. So this is what we're starting out with. Yes, I know, disgusting. I was wearing my hair in a low bun for a few days. By the way, if you haven't checked out my low bun tutorial, please go check that out. But anyways, I was wearing my hair in a low bun and I just have a lot of buildup, especially in the front yeah it's just nasty and disgusting and needs to be washed out desperately so first i like to start off by oiling and massaging my scalp i section my hair off into four sections and apply oil directly to my scalp and then i put a little bit on my fingertips and massage that in and the oil i'm using today is this wild growth hair oil Next, I use coconut oil and I apply that mainly to the rest of my hair and I also massage a little bit of that into my scalp. And I'm using this coconut oil by Shea Moisture. Now this usually starts off as a solid, then it melts into liquid in my hands, but I must have stored it somewhere warm where it melts it, but it's still usable. As you can see, the oil lifted up my hair from being gelled down with all that edge control very easily. And I basically repeat all these steps for all four sections and I let it sit in for a minute before I go wash my hair. So when I wash my hair, I start off by simply rinsing my hair with warm water first, rinsing out any of the residue and dirt in my hair before I go in with my first shampoo. And for my first shampoo, I'm using Pattern Beauty's Cleansing Shampoo. And this is like a clarifying shampoo that gets your hair nice and clean, but doesn't strip it too much where your hair feels dry. So for my first wash, I make sure I do a real deep clean, making sure I get all that dirt and residue from the products I use out of my hair. And I like to section my hair off and cater to each individual section. So after I do a really good deep cleanse for my first shampoo, I go ahead and rinse that out real good. Then I go in with my next shampoo, which is the hydration shampoo. And this shampoo helps to restore moisture back into my hair. And yeah, I pretty much do the same thing as my first shampoo. So now that my hair is nice and clean and feels hydrated and moisturized, I'm going to now condition my hair. And this is the Heavy Conditioner by Pattern Beauty. And I love how thick it is, so if you wanted to use it as a hair mask, you can. I make sure I apply it all over my hair and I let it sit in for about 10 minutes, then I rinse it out with cool water. So I don't like any of my product going away. So yeah, I'm about to scoop this out and apply it to my hair. So 
So I'm all done with washing my hair. Now I'm about to detangle it and I picked up this detangling nectar by Pattern Beauty. It says it's formulated with sea moss, aloe vera, and grapeseed oil, which I can definitely tell it had aloe vera in it because of the texture of it. But yeah, I felt it did an okay job with detangling my hair. It was still a little bit tough detangling it. I usually like something that detangles my hair with little to no effort. But yeah, it was okay. Um, I'm going to also apply my leave-in conditioner when I'm done detangling each section. So now let's get into these curls. I'm going to use this curl gel by Pattern Beauty. I start off by sectioning off a small size of my hair and applying a good amount of the curl gel to that section. And I make sure I apply it all over that section, raking it through my hair so it's spread it evenly. Then I take a small piece from that section and finger coil it by wrapping it around my finger all the way to the top or close to the roots. I hold it there for a second, then I let it go, and you should now have a defined curl. And I just repeat that for my whole entire head. So to define the curl even more, I'm just going to be scrunching and I just scrunch until I feel that the curl is more defined. So to dry my hair, I'm going to diffuse it and I use the cool setting. Yes, it takes a little bit longer to dry, but I feel that my curls usually turn out more bouncy and softer using the cool setting. I also flip my head upside down and that helps with volume so my curls won't dry flat on my head. And I put my head all sorts of ways and positions to help it dry faster and for it to have some volume. Alright, so I'm all done and this is how my hair turned out. It's pretty much dry for the most part, just my roots are a little bit wet, but that's okay. So after like a day or two, I separate some of the curls and pick it out to make my hair a little bit bigger, but I won't since my roots are still drying. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.